Hi, I'm Eric Reifenberg. I spent eight years managing key accounts worth tens of millions of dollars. After that, I spent several years managing a team of key account managers as a sales leader. And today, I'm helping key account managers prepare for and execute their most difficult negotiations. And the topic I want to talk about today is preconditions to negotiations. So we probably all had this happen to us where a prospect or a customer sends us a list of things they want us to agree to upfront if we're to do business together. And I want you to be very careful with this. Let me give you some examples first. An example would be, we want open book pricing. So we want to see what all your costs are. Or maybe if, you do, if they do get open book pricing, they want to dictate what margins, how much profitability you can make. So maybe they'll want you to agree up front on what the margin would be on your product, let's say if you're a manufacturer. Or maybe they want you to agree to payment terms up front, like we want 90-day payment terms or 120-day payment terms. Perhaps they want you to agree to certain levels of liability or maybe some indemnification up front, or maybe the ownership of intellectual property. So why do they do this? Why would your customer or prospect send you a list of preconditions to doing business with you? Well, the reason they're doing it is because if you agree to something up front, this is something they do not need to negotiate later. They're effectively making the overall negotiation much easier on themselves. And usually what's in the preconditions to negotiation are their priorities. And if you agree to their priorities up front, you're going to lose leverage and you're going to make the negotiation much easier on them and much more difficult on yourself. So be very careful about agreeing to preconditions. I suggest that you defer those preconditions till you have more information. I mean, first get clarity from them. You know, why are they asking this for these preconditions and why do they want it? Really important questions to answer. Secondly, let them know that any preconditions would be contingent upon negotiating the entire deal. You can't agree to any one or two things up front until you've seen the entire deal. So everything is contingent upon reaching an agreement. Okay, so very important. Also, if there's something that's in the preconditions that you know there's, hey, there's no way we can agree to this up front, like the 120 day payment terms, let them know up front. Let them know that you can't possibly accept 120 day payment terms. And if you really can't, then you don't want to do business with them anyways. But if they come back to you or they continue to deal with you or continue to allow you to sell to them or engage with you, it probably wasn't that important to them. What they were doing is setting a psychological anchor. They're setting a point at which they can drag the negotiation and get you closer to where they want to be, knowing that their ambitious offer up front wasn't something they were really going to get you to accept. Okay, so just be aware that this is the game you're playing. Okay, so for your next negotiation, make sure you're very careful about accepting preconditions to negotiation. You don't need to. Everything is contingent upon reaching an overall deal. This is just a game that we're playing here, okay? So remember, pre preparation is key for your negotiations. So don't practice on game day.